And at our GMA cover story, new Bachelor interviews that were taped before Matt James handed out his first rose and before Chris Harrison stepped away from the show because of his controversial comments about race. Juju Chang spoke to both of them. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, George. You know, it was supposed to be the breakthrough season with the first ever Black Bachelor. Instead, the show's host is under fire for racial insensitivity. And some of that criticism is coming from an unlikely source, the star of the show, The Bachelor himself. Why do you think it took so long? You know what? I, I don't know. I, ha I can't speak on uh, what took place before I got there, but I was honored to be the first and hopefully the first of many. The first Black Bachelor in its 25 season history, 29 year old Matt James breaking through. I spoke to James and longtime host Chris Harrison in January, just before the season debut. What I'm into and, and what I'm looking for isn't uh, race specific, you know. I'm looking for someone who's caring, honest, loving, compassionate, and that happens to fall across a broad array of women. Harrison also weighing in on the franchise's lack of diversity. What does it say about our culture? Wow, that's a big question. I, I don't know what that says. I don't know. I'm a big fan of it's never too late to do the right thing. And when that is done, that is good. But a season meant to be a turning point towards racial awareness, now facing criticism from its own star. Earlier this week, James sharing in an Instagram post, the reality is that I'm learning about these situations in real time, and it has been devastating and heartbreaking, to put it bluntly. The statement coming after these three-year-old photos of frontrunner Rachel Kirk Cannell at an Old South antebellum-themed college party, complete with period costumes, going viral. James describing them as incredibly disappointing. Well, Rachel, is it a good look in 2018 or is it not a good look in 2021? It's because not a, a big good difference. look ever. Harrison coming to Kirkinell's defense in an interview on Extra with the franchise's first black bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay, claiming Kirkinell faced harsh criticism from the quote, woke police. She's celebrating well, the old South. She's cel if I went to that party, what would I represent I, at that party? Before Harrison stepped down amidst this controversy, he shared a similar sentiment with me in January on the subject of cancel culture. I like to be open. I, I wish people would be. I think when, when people sit and have these conversations, they're scared, they're worried. James told me that he was hoping his role would usher in more bachelors and bachelorettes of color down the road. Now, at the beginning of the season, both he and Chris Harrison told me that if all went well, no one would be talking about the black bachelor, just the bachelor who happened to be black, that no one would be talking about race. But that's not exactly how it's playing out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.